Hi everybody, this is Brian with the Instructional Tech Coordinator Group and in this video we're going to take a look at adaptive release for Blackboard and the question came up uh, when I create adaptive release tests in Blackboard that means that my students can't move forward with the content until the test has been graded and in the event that I have created a test that has a graded short answer open response type question what do I need to do to move my students forward to grade those attempts? So we're going to cover that quickly. Learning the new Blackboard uh, grade book and learning how to use it is just really a matter of familiarity. And as you kind of explore it a little bit more, you'll uh, you'll see how it works and, and things will, will become a little bit more clear for you. So here's the scenario that we have. Uh, I have an adaptive release set up here, as you can see, where a student has to pass a one multiple choice and one open response. Uh, assessment before they can move on to this practice or, or uh, the next stage in the course for them. So I have a student who has submitted a response but is now stuck and if we were to look at it from student preview mode wouldn't see these practice tools as a result of adaptive release. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in and grade that attempt. So here's where we go to do that or one of the places we can go to do that. Um, I can look at the grade center so it's right down here. And one of the quick views that they provide for you, although you could see this in the full grade center as well, is the needs grading area. So this is a good place if you're looking for a quick notification of what has been submitted that maybe needs specific grading. And here you can see the attempt that uh, that is in place. All right, the one that I'm specifically referring to. So what I am going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and view the attempt. Click my little drop-down menu there. I view the attempt. Okay. And then I am going to be brought into this screen here. Okay, grading the attempt. So what I see here is that the first question the student got right, which is the first part of the quiz that they needed. Now the next part is what they're given answers. Now it doesn't look like much because I was just giving an example, but in this open response, you need to spell your name correctly. It looks like I've done so. I can offer a little bit of feedback. Okay. Feedback and notes for the attempt if I want to. Feedback specific to the learner. Okay. You know how to spell your name. Great. All right. Any other notes that I need to offer? But then here's the key. I need to enter the amount of points. So the way this adaptive release works the student has to get 50 out of 50 available points to move forward, so I'm going to go ahead and give them a 25. If this pops up on you, just go ahead and click Leave. If everything's there, it seems to be working, but it seems to be a little uh, weird function that's been happening. Okay. And so now I can see what the student's grade is. It's 50 out of 50, which is great. Now let's just hop over to the student view of things. A long list here. But before there would have been only two. Okay, we see that the student here now, if they'd like to take a look at their responses, they can do that. Okay. Um, so they can do that again. Or, more importantly, what we're trying to do is see that we can get down to these practice tests. So that opened up our adapt adaptive release. So anytime you've got a short answer question or an open response type question, you're going to need to manually go in and grade that, enter the points, and then that will automatically uh, trigger for the students the next module if you've got adaptive release set. Thanks again, and as always, if you have questions, feel free to contact any of us in the Instructional Tech Coordinator Group.